Have you ever wondered how a chance encounter with a TV personality could change the course of your life? A Face in the Crowd, a 1957 movie directed by Aaliyah Kazan, delves into this very question. It's a film that has left a lasting impact on many, but it begs the question, when was the first time you watched this movie, and do you have a cherished memory associated with it? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, but first, let's explore some random facts about this captivating film. A Face in the Crowd provides a thought-provoking look at the power of media and how one man's charisma can both captivate and manipulate the masses. The movie features an outstanding performance by Andy Griffith, who takes on a role quite different from the beloved Sheriff Andy Taylor from The Andy Griffith Show. Set against the backdrop of television's growing influence in the 1950s, the film serves as a timeless reminder of the impact of media on society. It's a story that remains relevant even today, making us reflect on the charisma and influence wielded by individuals in the public eye. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We can't wait to hear your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Share your insights and let's keep the conversation going. In the 1957 movie A Face in the Crowd, director Aaliyah Kazan made a deliberate choice in casting by selecting people from Nashville for some roles. For instance, the friend of Lonesome Rhodes who twitches his toes came from the Grand Ole Opry, a regular comedian there. This decision to involve authentic local talent added to the film's genuine portrayal of American country life. Kazan also had Andy Griffith, who played the lead role of Lonesome Rhodes, appear intoxicated in the last big scene, as it was the only way to bring out the required violence in his character. Griffith's portrayal of a true Native American country boy left a lasting impact on the film's depiction. The 1957 movie A Face in the Crowd marked the film debut of Andy Griffith. Directed by Aaliyah Kazan, the film explores the rise and fall of a charismatic and manipulative media personality. Griffith's powerful performance as Lonesome Rhodes, a country singer who becomes a television sensation, is a standout in his career. Before working with Kazan, Griffith was known for his comedy monologues, including the famous What It Was, was Football Routine, which gained popularity on Southern radio stations in the early 50 seconds. This film was a pivotal moment in Griffith's career, showcasing his versatility as an actor and setting the stage for his future success. It's a classic that continues to be remembered for its compelling portrayal of the media's influence on public perception. Aaliyah Kazan, the director of the 1957 movie A Face in the Crowd, was known for his keen eye for talent and his ability to bring out the best in his actors. It was during a production of Cad on a Hot Tin Roof, a play he originally directed on Broadway, that he first encountered Patricia Neal. Her performance left a lasting impression on him, and he immediately recognized her exceptional acting skills and potential. This chance encounter proved to be a turning point in the casting of a face in the crowd. Kazan's decision to cast Patricia Neal in a leading role in his film was not only a testament to her remarkable talent, but also played a significant role in shaping the entire cast of the movie. Her presence influenced the chemistry and dynamics among the actors, creating a cohesive ensemble that brought the story to life. The chemistry between Patricia Neal and her co-stars, including Andy Griffith and Walter Matthau, added depth and authenticity to the characters they portrayed. In a face in the crowd, Patricia Neal's performance was a standout, earning her critical acclaim and further establishing her as a Hollywood leading lady. The film itself remains a classic, not only for its powerful storytelling, but also for the exceptional cast that brought the characters to life. Aaliyah Kazan's casting choice, inspired by his experience with Patricia Neal and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, was a pivotal moment in the film's production and contributed to its enduring legacy. This casting decision, guided by Kazan's astute directorial instincts, was a testament to the transformative power of theater in shaping the world of cinema. It's a reminder of the incredible talent and dedication of both Patricia Neal and Aaliyah Kazan, two luminaries whose collaboration left an indelible mark on the history of film. A Face in the Crowd, a 1957 movie, has an interesting backstory. 
Marlon Brando turned down the role of Lonesome Rhodes. In this film, Andy Griffith had to summon intense moments on the spot, which was different from his stage performances where he built up to such moments gradually. To get into character, he sometimes requested discarded chairs to destroy before filming. Furthermore, the creators of the film, Alia Kazan and Bud Schulberg, studied future President Lyndon Johnson in Washington, D.C. to understand his public and private persona for the movie. This research helped shape the character of Lonesome Rhodes. It's intriguing to see how these behind-the-scenes details influenced the final product on screen. In 2008, a face in the crowd earned a place in the United States National Film Registry by the United States Library of Congress. This recognition signifies the enduring importance of the film in American cinema. The movie, directed by Aaliyah Kazan, stands as a powerful critique of media manipulation and the rise of a charismatic yet dangerous personality in the television era. The cast of the film boasts a remarkable lineup, including three Oscar winners, Patricia Neal, Burl Ives, and Walter Matthau. Additionally, it features four Oscar nominees, Anthony Franciosa, Lee Remick, Kay Medford, and Rip Torn, showcasing the talent and depth of the performances in the film. To emphasize the influence of television media in American society, Aaliyah Kazan integrated cameo appearances by prominent media personalities like Sam Levinson, John Cameron Swayze, Mike Wallace, Earl Wilson, and Walter Winchell. These appearances further reinforced the film's exploration of the power of the media to shape public opinion and the potential dangers of unchecked influence. In summary, A Face in the Crowd is a thought-provoking film that delves into the impact of television and the manipulation of public perception. Its inclusion in the National Film Registry and the star-studded cast are testaments to its enduring significance in American cinema. The 1957 movie A Face in the Crowd directed by Aaliyah Kazan has an interesting connection to the world of advertising. Aaliyah Kazan and Bud Schulberg, the filmmakers behind the movie, studied an ad agency that represented the Lipton's Tea account. Lipton's Tea was the official sponsor of Arthur Godfrey's radio and television appearances. This research into the advertising world played a role in shaping the film's narrative and themes showcasing the influence of media and public image. The film itself is a character-driven drama that tells the story of Lonesome Rhodes, played by Andy Griffith who rises to fame through the world of television but later faces the consequences of his actions. It's a cautionary tale about the power of media and how it can shape and manipulate public opinion. This connection to advertising and media makes a face in the crowd not only a compelling piece of entertainment but also a thought-provoking exploration of the influence of media on society. Another interesting fact about the film is the two weeks that Lee Remick spent in Pigot living with a local teen twirler, Amanda Robinson, and her family. Lee Remick worked on her twirling skills and local accent for the movie. Some of her baton twirling scenes used a double, highlighting the dedication of the actors to their roles. In conclusion, A Face in the Crowd is a film that delves into the world of media and advertising, shedding light on the power they hold in shaping public perception. It also showcases the commitment of the actors to their roles, as seen in Lee Remick's training for her character. It's a film that continues to be relevant in today's media-driven world. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of a face in the crowd, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the intricate web of emotions this timeless 1957 movie has woven in your heart. This film, with its vivid characters and sharp commentary on media manipulation and the nature of fame, has likely left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Perhaps you've found yourself enthralled by Andy Griffith's charismatic portrayal of Lonesome Rhodes, a man whose rise to power and subsequent fall from grace offers a striking commentary on the complexities of human nature. Or maybe you resonated with Patricia Neal's character, Marsha Jeffries, and her journey through disillusionment and self-discovery. Have you ever pondered the lasting relevance of this story? The way it's an evergreen reminder of the power that media and celebrity hold over society, even in our modern age. How does this classic narrative continue to resonate with you on a personal level? I encourage you to share your favorite memories and thoughts about a face in the crowd with us. Whether it's a poignant moment, a character's transformation, or the film's enduring message, your insights are a valuable contribution to the ongoing conversation surrounding this cinematic gem. 
Thank you for taking the time to journey through the intricacies of a face in the crowd with us. Your thoughts and memories enrich our appreciation of this cinematic masterpiece. We look forward to hearing your reflections, and, as always, thank you for your time and interest.